Does Wayne's ability increase the damage of unstable chem tank? Do you lose damage if two Cassios start next to each other? And what exactly happens with Bard's Augment if all tier 2 units are sold out? Welcome to episode number 8 of the TFT Mythbuster series in set 9. Let's get started. For our first myth, I wanted to take a closer look at everyone's favorite chem mod, the unstable chem tank. At this point, we know it's good on Jarvan and it can be useful on other units as well. But has this chem mod been solved already? Ready? The first myth states Swain with Chem Tank deals more damage if he dies during his ability. Just as a refresher, when Swain casts his ability, he transforms and gains bonus HP for 5 seconds while dealing a small amount of magic damage in an area around him. Both his damage and his bonus HP scale with AP, so he can become quite tanky in a sorcerer comp. In our first fight, we have a Swain in a 4 Zorn setup. He has a Zorn emblem and the unstable Chem Mod equipment. He ults quickly into the fight and you can see him gain a large amount of HP. But before he is able to get a second cast out, the enemy team takes him down. The explosion hits Warwick for 422 damage. This is our baseline. In the next fight we repeat the same setup, but this time we ensure that Swain gets a second cast out before he dies. Swain is taken out and we can see that Warwick takes 590 damage. So it looks like this is working and there might be some potential for a Swain Zorn build in the future. Just in case you are wondering, I also tested Ionic Spark, but compared to the bonus HP, the MR reduction disappears instantly. The damage from Chem Tank is slightly delayed, so you won't be able to use Ionic Spark for this strategy. For our second myth, I want to investigate Cassiopeia. One common strategy is to place one Cassio in the third row and the other in the fourth row. This is to ensure that they both target the same unit and enhance their damage right away. But what actually happens if they cast at the same time and at the same distance? The myth states, if two Cassios next to each other cast at the same time, neither of them receives the bonus damage. If you watched some of my previous videos, then you might know that sometimes the damage number shown on the board can be misleading. If damage from different sources arrives at the same time, the game will add them together into one large number. To test this myth, we will have to pay attention to the actual damage statistic on the side. We have one Casio on each side against an isolated frontliner. They will cast at the same time and their ability arrives at the same time for a total of 279 damage. If we check the damage on the right side, we can already see a difference. One Casio dealt 121 and the other dealt 158 magic damage. Testing other setups gave me the same result, which means that if you have two Cassios casting for the first time, then one of them will always have the increased damage. For our last myth, we need to take the Bard Legend and his Silver Augment Caretaker's ally. This augment used to grant a specific tier 3 unit every time you leveled up, but this turned out to be way too strong. Riot had to nerf it and it currently grants you a specific tier 2 unit. The myth states, Caretaker's ally grants 2 gold when no copies are left in the pool. This sounds hard to test, but it is surprisingly easy. All we need is the region shifting sense that grants us a free Pandora's bench. As we learned in my Pandora's video, the units that roll on your bench will remove units out of the champion pool and cannot create any additional copies. There are 22 copies of each tier 2 unit in the champion pool. In this game, the bard augment grants me a clet every time I level up. This means once I have successfully collected 22 clets, I just have to push for level 8. I end up receiving another clet as a unit and no gold. With level 9, I receive another clet and now I have 24 of them. This should not be possible unless the augment guarantees the unit by creating a unique copy just for you, similar to how the champion duplicator works. Three more myths down and many more to go. Making these videos is a lot of work, so why not subscribe and support this channel to learn more useless trivia about TFT that you can use to impress your friends. I hope you learned something and see you next time.